myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff I flip a... Good morning, welcome back to my channel In today's video, we got a lot planned um, I'm planning, I bought the credits for HP Tuner, so I plan to turn the vats off in the truck. I want to finish everything up under the hood, kind of get the pedal welded. Um, I have this new welder, um, handheld welder that I bought, I want to try out, and I want to try to weld a pedal with that. So I'm going to do that, um, finish getting the wires and stuff cleaned up up under the hood, put the serpentine belt on, and um, just make sure everything up under the hood is um, taken care of. I'm going to try to get the dry shaft in and get the transmission mounted and try to get the gear shift hooked up. And I'm not going to start it up in this video, but I want to make sure that it would crank over to get ready to start up. And once it cranks over, then I know I got the wires and everything else hooked up uh, correctly. And then I can start working on the fuel system. So that's the plans for this video. Um, hopefully I can get it all, all done. And I want to bring this project to an end, so let's get ready to go up to the shop. Getting ready to weld a pedal with this little handheld welder that I bought. I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I post the video out, but it works pretty good. It's a test weld. And getting ready to weld a pedal for real this time. Okay, so I bought this little welder here from Timu, and I was just wondering how well it would work. So since something was wrong with the our welder here in the shop, I figured this wouldn't be too bad. I think it was a little bit over a hundred dollars, um, and it came with the little handheld cheap mask. But as you see, it got the job done. Um, where did I put the pedal? Oh, I got the pedal inside of the truck. I'll let you see it. Um, I showed you the well before, but I just sanded it down a little bit and put some paint over it, but it actually weld pretty good. So, all right, so let me get back to it. Um, what I'm doing is straightening up some wires in the fuse box and plugging up some positive stuff. And then I'm going to have to get down to the ground that I have down there. I got to tighten that up and... Uh, I'll be able to close the fuse box up and leave it alone after this. Um, I got my fuel pump wire, which is this gray wire here, just sitting there. So I'm going to have to connect to that and extend it um, later on when I get the fuel pump. But I shouldn't have to go back in the fuse box um, at all to um, once I'm getting everything else done. So, all right, let me get back to it. All right, so I got the fan harness over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I was gonna try to take it out the loom and clean up the wire some. Cause like I said in the last video, there's a lot of things in this harness that we're not using, like the airbag sensors and I think the headlights plugs and stuff was on here. So I'm not gonna use any of that, but I think it'd be faster if I just go ahead and plug this back up like normal and the stuff that's not being used, it just won't be plugged up. And that way it lead for a much cleaner look and I won't have to spend much time trying to figure out which wires go to the fans and and all of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. Um, I think it goes right back here in the fuse box just to kind of keep it look looking neat. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and uh, I'll come back to the video and hopefully the fans will plug, be plugged up. Okay, got the wire harness in for the fans. I ran it up under the computer down and I got the fans plugged in. So I put the battery tray back in because I had to run the harness up under there. So um, I'm gonna check my to-do list and see what else I have to do. 
I know I got to connect a bunch of hoses and stuff and put the serpentine belt back on. So, uh, let me um, crawl up under here and see if I can connect the power steering hoses up. Uh, I think I got that one to connect. So, I'll try to get that plugged up and then I'll put the serpentine belt on. Okay, so I was getting ready to put the belt on and the tensioner pulley is frozen so it won't move at all so i had to end up getting a tensioner pulley so i'm gonna get that put on and try to get the belt on and continue on i also need to put the transmission cooler on today um i got one exactly like the one i had um so i'm gonna put this on there and get that wired in or put the hoses on it Okay, so I made a little mount for the transmission cooler and what I'm going to do is mount it in the center right here I removed the grill and I'm going to drill a hole right here and mount it to the center So it can be sitting right here in the middle of here So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and spray that mount up a little bit and Go ahead and get it mounted in here and go ahead and put the grill back in it So I might go ahead and spray paint all of this black while I'm in here All right Okay Got it mounted. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint um, that bracket. And just like I said, I might spray paint the sides over there also since I'm already in here before I put the grill back in there. But just grit, drill the center hole in there, put a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And I just gotta connect it from the bottom. All right, so just did a little touch up with the paint. Um, just make it look a little bit better than it did with all that rust. So I'm getting ready to put the grill back in it now. And connect it from the bottom connect the hoses to it basically all right so what I'm working on now is the shifter linkage um, I got the transmission cooler hooked up but you see the stock shifter linkage come down like this and this piece here was bolted let me show you this piece here was bolted up to here it was bolted up to there like that and the end of that rod went in there so as you see the rod doesn't line up with the original foil 60 piece so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut slots in it um i'll show you what i'm going to do basically this mount needs to be moved over to about here somewhere up in here just to get it to work but in order to do that i'm going to have to fold it back also so i'll show you what i'm going to do when i get from up under here So, I'm going to cut some slots in it. As you see, I already cut slots in it. I just got to cut the V out. And I'm going to cut the V out of it and fold it back this direction. And then I can bolt it back up and the rod can go into the back end like it's supposed to. Um, I just have to drill new holes inside of the, the frame. Okay, so what I'm working on now is the cross member. Um, I used the original 350 transmission or turbo 350 mount that has a center bolt. Um, let's see if I can show you. So I got that in there. So now, because that turbo 350 mount um, can only go on in one direction, I can't spin it around or the hose won't line up, it's throwing my cross member off a little bit. So. What I'm gonna have to do is probably drill new bolts in my cross member. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, I showed you the video earlier of how I connected the shifter rod, but let me tell you about it. There was a lot of noise going on, so I couldn't really narrate it. But what I did is I cut that bracket, like I said before, I folded it over, and there was a hole in a bolt already there. So I just took out the bolt, replaced it with another bolt, and 
um, tighten it up real tight. I could have put a second bolt in there, but I don't think it's needed because all it's doing is just holding the back end of the rod, um, allowing it um, and uh, giving it uh, a pivot point to spin on basically. So there's no pressure on or anything and it's super tight so it's not moving. Um, I went through the gears and all the gears are smooth. Only thing that was missing was a cotter pin and I put um, some wire, a coat hanger wire through there and wrapped it around until I can get a cotter pin. So, but just like I said, I shift the gears down, went through the gears, everything was smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this cross member situation figured out and then I can get the dry shaft thrown in. So I'm still waiting on my tensioner to come. So once my tensioner get here, I can put the tensioner on and put the serpentine belt on. And I, then I can put the air box on and everything. So, all right, so we're making a lot of progress here. Okay, so I put the tensioner on. You see it right there, got the belt on. I put the air box on. Um, for some reason, I don't know what happened to the wires that go for the mass airflow. So I need to find that, see if I can get that connected because I'm definitely going to need the mass airflow connected. So now I'm still working up under the truck trying to get the cross member done. Um, just got to tighten up some bolts in the cross member and I'll be ready to put the dry shaft in. But as you see, everything up under the hood is coming together. It's almost ready to actually plug a battery up and get some key on power going to it. So let me go ahead and get this cross member knocked out and see if I can slide this dry shaft in. And um, that may be it for today. Okay, so I'm super tired. Um, I got the cross member in there, bolted it down. I put the drive shaft in. Um, got it in there. The only thing I need to do with the dry shaft to put those caps on it right there on both sides. Um, I don't know where the caps are. I'm going to have to look for them. So if I find those, I'm going to go ahead and throw those in. If not, I'm going to go ahead and just um, close out the video and just come up here and try to do it again another day. But I made a lot of progress. Um, I made a lot of progress on it. At least I think I did. But I can go ahead and get this jack out of the way now since I got the cross member up. But, alright, let me go look for those caps to go on the dry shaft. And, um, like I said, um, I'll go ahead and close this video out. Okay, another long day at the shop. I got a lot accomplished. Um, I got the serpentine belt on. I changed out the tensioner. Um, I put the air box on. I got the dry shaft in. Got the transmission cross member um, connected. So... Um, I knocked out a lot of things today, so I, I did some, some major improvements for the, the C10. So I just have to do the power steering lines, um, work on a fuel system, and do the pedal. Yeah, the pedal, the mount on the pedal didn't come up like I uh, come out like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have to see if I can redesign it or do something differently with that. So I have to do that. So, but other than that, I think we did a lot on the on the C10 and. Click on that subscribe button if you haven't. Click that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.